when I moved in Regent Park in the 80s, I see they having a tenants association group at 42 Blevins, and then they move from 42 Blevins to the community center. Before the community center build up, it was the tenants, they build it up. They take, collect $2, in the rent to build up the community center because the one was there before was way too small and it was daycare, it was welfare office, and nurse come in there once in a while, and the kids that was there. So it was way too small, and they still have, they still have the Tenants Association was going on there. Now the Tenants Association is out and we do a lot of marching and so to the head office at Metro Housing to get the, the community center. And then I joined the group, we were still going on, and there's a lady called Bev Barbo. She looks on TV and she see where Daily Bread Food Bank and Second Harvest giving out food to people. So she get in touch with all of us and we have a meeting and we discuss it, said we would like the food to come in Regent Park so that people that live in Regent Park don't have to wonder about. They can have something in the area. And we start getting the food. I didn't want to leave the food bank, to be honest. You know, and the people, they had to pull me out from there. Some more ladies had to pull me out from there. Otherwise, my four kids were born in a fishbowl because we used to get a lot of fish at those times. And I'm still there with Hanji helping her with the food bank because I love it. It's, it's a hobby and it's build up your energy, your strength and everything. So I'm still there with her helping her when she needs me. I live in Victoria Park now, but I still come down every day when she has it to help her. I still, all my activities is in Regent Park and what I gain is in Regent Park.